Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some free to play money making methods. And most of them are going to include some mining and smithing methods as the mining and smithing rework has just been released a week ago. So there are some really good money making methods for free to play players using mining and smithing. So I'm just going to show you guys a few of those methods. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So the first method that I want to show you guys is mining luminite. So luminite requires 40 mining and it ha only has a durability of 380, making it fairly fast to mine You as you only need 40 mining. So uh, it, it's not too difficult to mine, doesn't take too long. So the best spot to mine luminite is in the mining guild in the resource dungeon. Now this does require 60 mining just to get into the mining guild. So that is a, a fairly high requirement, I guess. Um, but uh, this is a really great spot to mine the luminite. You should also bring a at least a rune ore box just so you can store the luminite. I believe you can store up to 120 before banking, making the profit per hour much higher. So every hour you should be able to get about 800 to 900 luminite per hour. And right now luminite is selling for about uh, 1600 GP each. So you should be able to make about 1.5 mil per hour, um, right, roughly right around 1.5 mil per hour. And just some basic tips about mining. If you don't already know, you can turn the stamina bar on in the interface menu of the settings. So as you can see, it's this yellow bar that is going on. And then the second thing is when one of those shiny rocks pop up, you should click it because you get five times your mining uh, penetration, making it so you mine the rock much faster. So as of right now, when this video is uploaded, this is roughly the price of Luminite. So I mined just 51 and sold it for 81k, so it's well above the uh, Grand Exchange asking price. And then here you can actually see the specific price per Luminite that I sold it for. So as you can see, it is right around 1.6k, making this a really good money-making method right now. And you need to be aware that the prices might fluctuate somewhat, but I would say Luminite should stay right around 1 or 1.5k just because it is used for the Elder Rune Bar. So the next money making method that I want to show you guys is making Rune Bars. So first to do this method you're going to want to buy some Runeite Ore and some Luminite. It requires uh, one Luminite and one Runeite Ore to make one Rune Bar and you can make around 2000 bars per hour so if you want to stay there for a full hour, then buy about 2,000 of each. So anyway, I'm just going to buy 200 just for the test run, and then I'll head to the forge and start making the room bars. So here I am at the forge. I'm going to want to deposit all of my ores into the ore bank. And now to start making room bars. So the most important requirement for this method is that you have 57 smithing. So I know you require 50 to make the room bars, but 57 gives you the 10% chance of doubling the bar, getting an extra bar, which is what you make most of your profit off of right now. So you will definitely want to make sure you have the 57 smithing because on average, these 200 bars that I'm going to make, I'm going to end up getting 220 bars back. And those 20 bars are just pure profit. Um, without them, you'd make about three or 400 GP per bar. But then with the uh, extra 10%, you would get about 700, and 700 to 800 uh, GP per bar in profit. So as I said earlier, you can make around 2,000 bars per hour making this money-making method a little bit above 1.5 mil per hour. So 1.5 to 2 mil per hour. And it is a pretty good method. I'm just going to sell the bars right here just so you can see the uh, profit I made off of them. And it is pretty decent. They sold for 
uh, 3.8k. And so as you can see, the raw supplies in order to make the room bar, I bought for about 3.4 or 3.5k. And then I sold each of them for about 3.8k. But then I also got the 22 extra from that 10% bonus chance. So you are making some pretty good profit here. So now the last method I want to show you guys is mining runite ore. And this method actually got a lot worse um, after the mining rework. But then again, the requi only requirement is 50 mining now. And there are many ores around now. As you can see, they're all over in the mining guild. And the ores aren't, or the rocks aren't competitive anymore. So that is uh, pretty useful as well. But the profit per hour has decreased. It's down to about 750k per hour. Um, so it's not as much as the other two methods. Um, but it's still a, a viable method. It's not that bad. And uh, if you do have 50 mining, you'll get a little bit more XP from it. And it's really not uh, not a bad method at all to, to train. Now, to do this, you will really want a rune ore box, again, just like the luminite ore method. This will allow you to store 120 runite ore as well. Now, if you are wondering, it can actually store 120 of any ore which is up to rune so it could store 120 luminite and 120 runite ore at the same time so you could possibly mine both of them if you wanted um, but uh, yeah this method is pretty simple you're just going to want to mine them in the mining guild which is a 60 mining requirement if you don't have this requirement you will have to mine it in the wilderness but that's not really uh, the best options so you should probably try and get 60 mining first um, but uh, yeah anyway that is it for this method and this is it for the money making guide but anyway guys i really hope this was helpful and i really hope this updated free to play money making guide will be able to make you guys some money and hopefully afford some bonds so anyway guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you in the next one peace